non-traditional trademarks. A wide array of non-traditional trademarks are eligible for registration. For example, did you know that colors, smells, textures, building shapes, packaging designs, uniforms, motion marks, like software displays that feature moving or changing logos, and much more have all been registered with the US Patent and Trademark Office. Essentially, anything that consumers might recognize as indicating the source of a product or service might be protectable as a trademark. Recent litigation disputes affirming protectable rights in non-traditional marks include Louboutin's Red Sold Shoes and Maker's Mark Bourbon and their Red Wax Bottle Seal. Other non-traditional marks, which with one might be familiar, include the color brown for package delivery services from UPS, pinstripe uniforms for baseball games from the New York Yankees, and the three chime sound used by NBC radio and television. Non-traditional marks, of course, must meet all the normal registration requirements, such as the lack of a confusing similarity with any registered marks, and serving as an indicator of the source of the goods or services, a proper drawing of the trademark, and a proper specimen evidencing use of the trademark in connection with the relevant goods or services. For motion marks, the drawing can contain up to five frames showing the various progression of the movement and must include a detailed description and proper evidence showing its use featuring that entire motion. Note that conducting a clearance search for non-traditional marks is often quite difficult, as you might imagine. Product, shapes, colors, scents, and flavors, however, can never be inherently distinctive. As a result, non-traditional registrations will often appear on the weaker supplemental register uh, unless there's been a showing of acquired distinctiveness. When asserting acquired distinctiveness, an application will generally be greatly assisted or aided by look-for advertising that highlights the feature at issue, like UPS's What Can Brown Do For You slogan that creatively emphasized their use of the color brown on their trucks and uniforms and much more. In addition, public opinion surveys and affidavits can be helpful evidence to demonstrate acquired distinctiveness. The biggest hurdle a non-traditional mark must overcome to register is functionality. If the mark is found to be functional because it is essential to the use or purpose of the product, or it affects the cost or quality of the product, then it is probably not registrable, even if a claim of acquired distinctiveness is made. Stated another way, a non-traditional mark is functional if, quote, the exclusive use of that mark would put competitors at a significant non-reputation related disadvantage. That comes from the Supreme Court's Qualitex case. So let's talk about some more specific examples of non-traditional marks. These I think are very entertaining and fun, but they're also important ways that businesses have invested in protecting themselves by creating these non-traditional ways that consumers identify with the brand and the product or service. Did you know that the door motion, the way that the doors on a Lamborghini slide up is a registered trademark? See registration 2793439. Unbelievably, the University of Arkansas has registered in registration number 4558864 the sound of a crowd cheering the words woo pig suey woo pig suey woo pig suey razorbacks now they say it with uh, more enthusiasm i've never been to a university of arkansas football game but in the trademark office records you can actually listen to the cheer the scent of play-doh is a registered trademark it's described as the scent of a sweet, slightly musky, 
vanilla fragrance with slight overtones of cherry combined with the smell of a salted wheat-based dough. That's in registration 5467089. The sound of a Zippo lighter making, quote, windproof lighter opening, igniting, and closing, end quote, is registered in registration number 5527388. The shape or configuration of the building for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, is registered in connection with entertainment and various services. That's in registration 250847. The lighting design projected on the front of a hotel building, which features green lights illuminated in particular angles and places, is, I think, a really interesting trademark registration in registration 3697306. Boise State University football has registered the blue turf field as a non-traditional mark. And that's in registration 3707623. And one of my all-time favorites, KISS band members have registered their makeup configurations worn in their entertainment services. See, for example, registration 130566. On a business trip once, I stayed at a Hilton International Hampton Inn Hotel. I couldn't help but notice that the shape of their sign is a great non-traditional trademark. It's not the normal rectangular shape of most hotel signs. It's hexagonal, and it is used consistently on their logos and throughout the hotel's brand package. For example, I've snapped a few photos when I was traveling of the oatmeal pot in their breakfast setup and the laundry bag order form that all use the shape of the sign. Hilton International wisely registered this shape with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in connection with hotel services. Even if the shape may be on the supplemental register, that registration provides value and shows a commitment to protecting the non-traditional mark. See the registration in number 3753438 for the shape of that Hampton Inn hotel sign. As you can see from these examples of non-traditional marks, great brands find distinctive ways to make themselves easily recognizable to consumers and they use these marks wisely and extensively and then apply to register any such non-traditional marks with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. If you're interested in learning more about non-traditional marks, maybe because your brand has one or maybe you just find the topic fascinating, I have a lot more articles and examples on my website at ericpelton.com in the blog section or in my videos at ericpelton.tv. It's a topic that I love to talk about. And if you check out those other resources, you will see other fascinating non-traditional trademarks like, believe it or not, goats on a roof and marching ducks.